Marcus Conti reporting on the big vote in the in the house right now. There you go. It's like it's like uh, it's like watching horse racing. Right? So so far, it looks like the Democrats have won already. Uh, if you look, Democrats yay uh, one thirty one, nay one, one one Democrat voted nay. Republicans ninety nine uh, no and zero yes. Totals. One, th- one, uh, one thirty-one to one hundred, right? So far, non-voting is two hundred. So, with four and a half minutes left, we're watching it. You know, um, <laughs> this is uh, watching it as we speak. It looks like the Democrats can't possibly lose this one, but there's still one hundred and ninety-five people who haven't voted. So we'll watch. See the number right here. This is how much time is remaining. Four minutes and uh, 15 seconds. So the non-voting people are stepping up now. You see how the non-voting number is going down? 181. Watch it go down. 187. 186. 185. So people are coming off the sidelines. It's not really close. Uh, well, 137 to 110. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. See how it goes so far, so far. See if we can get some. uh, See if we get some. some, some, I don't know. (laughs) Hurry up and wait. I guess I jumped the gun on the last video. So, so what we're what we're trying to do is to see if this is the official going forward in the House of uh, Representatives. 435 representatives, I believe, will speak up on behalf of you, the American people, to move forward with the impeachment of Donald J. Trump, officializing the impeachment process for the vile behavior of Donald Trump asking the the uh, Ukraine president, can you help us out and look into some of our corruption? <laughs> That's what this is all about. So uh, let's just look so far, so far. So far we've got uh, 147. Well, let's, there's, no, there's no reason to really calculate. With two minutes left, there's still 162 people who haven't voted. 162 people who haven't voted. Come on, Democrats. Come on, Democrats. Step up to the plate. Come on, Republicans. Come on, Republicans. So 150 Democrats have voted, 121 Republicans have voted. La, 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 I wanted to pick some music out of this. I want to pick out some music. So, I don't know what to pick. I don't know what to pick. I don't know. I don't know. So, it's a big day in, um... Washington DC if you look at it right <clears throat> they're all so important look at it look at all the salaries being paid right now all these salaries to remove the president of the United States for something so trivial so <clears throat> inconsequential <clears throat> so unimportant it doesn't it doesn't even merit what's going on but nonetheless that's where they're dragging the country Democrats have no policies to run on. They refuse to back the policies of the people and become a working class party. Republicans have to support Trump because Trump's their man. Partisan politics on display. This is what America is. This this vote, Resolution 660, to remove the President of the United States. That's what we're watching. The Democrats want to remove the President of the United States. And in 56 seconds, we're going to find out if they can do that. <clears throat> Doesn't mean that they get their impeachment. It means they have a green light to proceed with impeachment proceedings. In the kangaroo courts, we call Washington, D.C. And then what they'll do is they'll move on to the Senate, where the Senate will then sh- chop it down. The Senate will chop it down. 30 seconds left. 29, 27. 26, 25, 24. Clicking down. Still 125 people have not voted. Excuse me, Congress people have not voted. 
Well, they're people, too. So it looks like the Democrats are going to get their wish. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so it's over. Democrats win. The Democrats have won in a score of 175, 176. It's still clicking down. What happened? Why all the why is the time run out and the and the clock is still ticking? It's like they're cheating. And it's all it's all Democrat votes. They're fucking cheaters. They even cheat in Congress. So there's a 40, 40 point spread still. Oh wait, Democrat Republicans are popping up too. They just went up ten points. I guess we have to wait. Until there's uh this number right here we're looking at, 99. No, uh, n didn't vote, non-vote. That's the number we're looking at. But again, it seems to be, be split because you've got 50 Democrats not voting and 40 Republicans not voting. Well, that would be enough. If all of the Republicans right now would come off the sideline and vote and the Democrats sat on their hands, it would it could swing the vote. <laughs> it's like watching a math puzzle. But why is time why is time run out? <clears throat> why do we have a Congress? Why do we have a system where there's 15 minutes to vote, and then um, and then the time expires and people are still voting? Why is that? Why is that? I don't know, but it's still moving. It is still moving. I know what it was. Was in some cigarettes. So you can. Ah, I love this people. I love these guys. Cigarettes. Clock is still ticking, you see it? <clears throat> you notice that nobody's really following it, the people in the room, like they're, they're watching the scoreboard or something, because they know it's already a pre, you know, it's a, a foregone conclusion that that impeachment process will <clears throat> continue. Uh, they already know this. 48 knuckleheads still haven't voted, 45, 42. Votes still coming in. They vote electronically, it's not on paper. They say it's an electronic vote and the vote was supposed to be for, for 15 minutes. Right? And that was, that was a good three and a half minutes ago where it ended, where the time expired. 33 more. So at this point, it's, it's fair to call it. Democrats have the uh, majority. It's 221 to 181. That's a 40-point spread. There's only 29 people left to vote, and that wouldn't be enough to swing it. So the yeas have it. The yeas, the yeas have it. It's a done deal. That is a done, done deal. 26 people left. So the yeas have it. The Congress will move forward with the impeachment process. Congress will move forward with impeachment. And um, what do they get out of it? They're not going to get, they're not going to remove this president from office. That's not going to and all they're going to get is pain and suffering. Pain, more pain, more misery. But Trump gets to, you know, interject with his legal team. The American public gets to see it on display. How despicable, how ridiculous. But people don't see it that way. That's the, that's the irony of the country, is that a lot of people don't see it that way. 
they see it as something of uh, something that needs to be done because this president, this orange monster that they see him as, is so despicable and so damaging to the country that he must go. He must go. He must rid us of this president. That's all they care about. Health care for all? Nah. Decrease the military spending? Nah. Should be having a vote on that. Should be having a vote on that. I'll be right back. I had to let the cat out. I let the cat out of the room. I let the cat out of the bed. So again, it's an insurmountable lead by the yeas, 28 point lead. If you moved all 16 into the either category, it would still be yay, 15. It looks like everybody's gonna vote. I, I would like to know why the, why the time has expired and the people are still allowed to vote. What happened to like the, the time expired? If that was regular people, they'd slam the door in your face. No, 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 you missed the vote. You missed the vote, you missed. You missed the vote. So that's the country we live in. This is how it works. It's not about, it's not about the, the, uh, the severity of what happened at all. This is all politics, that's all it is. It's, we're in an election year in America, if you're watching from abroad, this is how American politics work. If you have a D at, at the end of your name, you better, you bet your ass you better be voting for yay. You better say yay. And if you have an R at your name, if those donors paid you, the R donors paid you, you have to vote nay. You have to be a nay, an R is a nay, and, a, and only one independent. I wonder who voted yay, the independent. And, um, there's only one independent in the House of Representatives? Wow. That's crazy. Right? There's only one independent. Yeah, Bernie Sanders, run independent. <laughs> yeah, you get a lot of support. There's only one. Nine left. Nine left. Nine people left. Nine no votes so far. Still nine. Eight. Again, insurmountable lead. The yeas have it. The Democrats have won their won their inquiry by a pretty a pretty commanding spread too, by almost 35, 35 votes. They won the they had thir, they won by thirty five votes. If you tally it now, two thirty and there's a hundred there's four hundred and thirty five Congress. So there's two thirty one. 231, let me do the math. There is, uh, I always want to add them up now and see. So you've got 230 yays plus 195 nays plus seven still haven't voted equals 432. Oh, and the one independent plus one. So about 430, 40, 433 have voted. That's fair enough, that's close. Maybe there's only, maybe there's an empty seat somewhere along the way. So maybe we'll get the official vote. I didn't want this to be too long. I wanted it to be a simple vote. But we shared the moment together. We shared together the moment where Donald Trump is gonna be impeached Donald Trump might just be impeached. So I'll call it here. Marcus Conti reporting that um, the Democrats have, have won their yay vote to impeach the President of the United States, these great states of America, where we're all supposed to be on the same page. Instead, we're deeply divided over nonsense, absolute freaking nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Look how happy. Nobody changed. Nobody's expression in the room changed. 
it was a foregone conclusion that that uh, ah they're hugging kissing who are these people you don't even know most of them so that's the end of that Marcus Conte reporting uh, I hope everybody got what they wanted you know I guess I guess we get to see it Look, we get to see we get to see the outcome of, of this thing right? we're gonna watch we're gonna watch the arguments it's no different than any other bullshit you know bullshit uh, thing that has happened in Congress but there you go Marcus Conte reporting